Hi there, thank you for joining us. I'm Brett Lonsdale from Lightning Tools and in this getting started video we're going to take a look at Social Squared so that you can feel comfortable using Social Squared inside of SharePoint and also inside of Microsoft Teams. What you'll see here is I've got an example of Social Squared already configured for a community of practice which is just one of the many uses that you could use Social Squared for. And you'll notice that it's displayed here on a modern SharePoint site in SharePoint Online and of course you could also use that in SharePoint 2019 as well and uh, as I navigate to Microsoft Teams you can see the same product there but also not just the same product the same actual content and structure so this is the community of practice channel inside my research and development team and when I'm going into the underlying SharePoint site within SharePoint we've got that same community of practice discussion board showing up there as well. That means that users can engage in conversation using their favorite tool. If you happen to be using Teams all day long, you'll be able to read new posts, uh, new topics that are being created from some of your team members that may have created them inside of SharePoint whilst you're actually enjoying using the Teams platform. So let's have a look at what Social Squared offers. What you can see first of all is that the conversations are categorized into different forum groups and also forums. So here at the very top for our community of practice, we've got Microsoft 365 innovations. So in here, as people have ideas or learn new material or whatever it might be around SharePoint, Teams, Viva, the Power Platform, they can create a topic around that subject and engage other people that may be members of that community of practice to also comment and uh, we've also got the same sort of thing for our Lightning Tools products as well. So we've got some of those such as the Lightning Conductor, DeliverPoint, Social Squared itself and also Lightning Forms, etc. And towards the bottom, we've also got some other forums around general questions, also lessons learned, any useful resources and a sort of members chat area as well. But like I say, you can use this for any subject whatsoever. If you're an architect firm, you may be discussing different types of buildings. If you are a drinks manufacturer you may be discussing different types of drinks etc so we're a technology company we've created some discussions around technology now the idea being that if I was interested in a particular question that I have let's say about Microsoft Viva what I could do is navigate to the Viva forum and I can see here if anybody has posted a topic about Microsoft Viva that is the area that I'm interested in learning about. So we can see here there's new Viva modules announced at Microsoft Inspire. I could jump into that. Um, notice there's an embedded video and uh, we can also see some of the replies uh, that people have made to that particular post as well. So that's how we can go through and view other topics and we can also create our own topics as well. So if I'm a, a user and I have no idea what Microsoft Viva is, I don't need to feel embarrassed in this environment. I can just simply type in what is Microsoft Viva and there's my question and I can post a bit of a body about it as well. So I'm hearing about Viva. What is it? How can it be used? And now a subject matter expert can come in and reply to me, but they don't have to be an expert, maybe another member of this community as well that replies to me. And uh, I can, of course, learn uh, from that reply. But not only can I learn about it, other people in the future can also learn about that reply as well. So I'm going to go through and add that. And uh, that has been my, my new topic that has now been created. We can see the what is Microsoft Viva. And of course, if I jump across to Microsoft Teams here, and let's just refresh, uh, we can automate that refreshing, but I'm just gonna force a refresh of that page and we'll navigate as though it's the first time going into that particular forum. So here, when we go into the Viva forum, notice there's the question, what is Microsoft Viva? And of course I wrote it, uh, so it's showing as unread. So I could reply as, as different users. So in here I can just simply reply and say, uh, Viva is a fantastic new tool from Microsoft. Read more here. 
Now, what you'll also notice is when I'm typing, there's suggested tags that I could use to tag my reply or my new topic with as well. So somebody has already used a Microsoft Viva tag inside their post inside the forum. So I could reuse that tag rather than sort of reinvent the wheel. Uh, we could use uh, Viva, Microsoft Viva and collaboration tool, uh, but I could also add to that as well with something like Microsoft as a, as a tag if I wanted to. And these tags are very much like the hashtags that you may find in something like LinkedIn or on Twitter, and it allows people to be able to find that content as well uh, using those tags for navigation. So that's a quick sort of overview of how to create a topic, reply to a topic, tag that topic, and you'll see different ways of viewing that content. So we can view information in a threaded view. Uh, we can also mark replies uh, to questions as answered, and that helps the author um, understand what the, uh, the right question is, but it also gives credibility to the person that provided the answer and also gives that credibility and uh, understand, understanding to other people that may be reading this post that may have the same question as about what is Microsoft Viva and now they can learn about it. So that's how we can uh, navigate Viva and of course we're gonna, uh, sorry, Social Squared and we're gonna post our questions into those relevant forums so that people can easily find the conversations within that category. Now you can also search as well. So the search works across the different forum groups and the different forums so if I did a search on the word SharePoint, for example, you can see here all of the content that people have created around Microsoft SharePoint. We can view any topics that we're interested in. And of course, we could go through and reply to those or we could rate them uh, and give that feedback back to some of those users that have created that content as well. So there is the search. There is also an ability to view the topics in different ways. So we can see perhaps what's most popular um, so these are all the different popular topics that we have. We can also see recent activity um, based on what content has been created recently. We can see a specific user's post. So if I do a search on a particular user, we can go through and select that user and hit view, and we can see all the content that that user created and so on. So lots of different ways of, of viewing the content including an unanswered topic view so if you are an expert that is replying to people as a subject matter expert or just somebody being very helpful inside of your organization uh, you can go through and perhaps see which posts have not been marked as answered yet and uh, and that way you can go through and either answer them or mark them as answered if you prefer and there is also a tag cloud so this tag cloud is the way that we can navigate to the content via those tags that we used to tag our posts. So uh, there's Viva Goals where there wasn't really any content matched with that one. Uh, let's have a look at uh, just Viva and you can see that uh, quite a few topics have been tagged with that keyword. Okay, so that's a quick overview of Social Squared and what it could be used for. Um, what we're going to do is uh, jump into how we can configure this. Uh, so as a site owner or as a team owner, you can go through and create your own forum groups and your own forums for different types of conversation, obviously, that would be related to your department and your organization. And uh, we'll also go through as a user and see how we can go through and create topics, reply to topics, and use the full reach text toolbar as well. We'll also be having a look at how to set up moderation and those types of features that you would expect to see in a discussion board tool. So um, have a look at some of the other videos, and uh, hopefully these will be of use to you. Many thanks. Bye.